compile more police here in Malta. You see this fortress there? I'm safe there. Nobody can touch me. I've done some Igbo names, some Calabar names. Now I need to go to Benue and uh, Otrupo women. Now Otrupo women, they sabi boy, where, 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 where. So they are this long, you know. And then uh, there's Ogoja. Ah! Hmm. Ogoja na fire. Oh. Go and try an Ogoja woman. If you, you know, if you want a hot, hot, hot bowler, try Ogoja. And then Kanuri, Baduguri side. Ah! Hmm, I like this. <laughs> fire, fire. Okay, so those of you out there who have not poi as much as me, you need to start at age 15 to catch up my record. You know, at age 15, by the time you get to 17, you slow down. You see, right now I can only undo two or three a week, but back in the day, it's three or four a day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day, afternoon, night, wherever you're watching me from. So, this particular video is about a black man an african man 70 years old african man that had a very deep reflection he was recounting his sex journey his womanizing um behavior and the people he had things to do with could you imagine this man came online to share the pictures of the ladies he he slept with yeah he did that some of the ladies he told us how they moved on in life and who they married while some of them he just shared their pictures he he took his time to share over 365 photos so i'll read the post he made then i'll go on to talk more about it so he said 70 years reflection have you poured so he used the word poured to replace that have you poured me before that have you slept with me before i'm putting together a picture slide of 365 photos to be played over the rest of december starting december 7th i think i'm missing some names in london and italy in the 1970s that i i slept that in the 1970s that i slept that i need to appreciate so to him is a form of appreciation so he's putting out this this these women's pictures to appreciate them according to him the first Oyibo that I slept with was an, was an Italian hotel receptionist in Rome and Italians sabi walk, which means Italians are good in bed. That was May 1974. I remember that very day because I thought I was sleeping with an angel being that she was so white with soft fluffy hair and tight elastic because that's boom, boom, mm -hmm. i was like father lord heaven must be beautiful please check my bowler well in this photo to see if you have experienced it and inbox me as i hate to leave anyone off my list so what he meant was check his pp to see if you've experienced it verily verily i say unto thee no man who has ever slept with me is broke today unless she has not made me aware of her condition so he's saying that all the people that he slept with none of them is broke because he he helped them if anyone is broke it means that the person did not tell him her condition maybe her brokenness and all that it would have been a different case if he just had this right up and he didn't post the pictures this man went on to post pictures of the ladies you know what let's talk about womanizing and uh, spiritual implications of having multiple sexual partners this man started his womanizing in the 1970s according to him and if you listened carefully at the beginning of this video the video i played he advised people to start very early he said those days he used to sleep with three to four women in a day and he said he would advise anyone that, that would love to catch up with the numbers he numbers of people he has slept with at his current age which is 70 years that they should start when they are 15 years old that right now he can only handle three people in a week but then he used to handle three to four women in a day so let's see the spiritual implication of having multiple sexual partners and what that means 
sexual spirituality goes beyond the physical orgasm it involves energy orgasm a burst of positive energy throughout your body and soul expanding your consciousness your partner and your body are honored as a divine transcendence and vice versa x is very spiritual and people need to understand that if you are sleeping around with different people chances are they also have people that they have slept with when you have ex with someone you become one and therefore that's why there is something called ex sexual ties and soul ties said manwini manwini said this can bring about bad omen or dark clouds because having ex with different people is like sponge absorbing all the liquid and dirt this is my two cents on this if you look on the screen you would see pictures of the women but i had to cover up their faces this is my two cents on this hmm. x goes beyond just the physical the, it's deeper than most of us can imagine you have your subconscious your conscious your soul your mind everything coming together with someone else you're it's like getting married and binding and bonding and ex we have exchange that takes place exchange of fluid exchange of body ex body heat exchange of energy a lot of things and do you know what that means when you're having exchange you're having transfer you take both the good and the bad let's say he the the per, he had he slept with person a and person person a has slept with five other people it means that the five other people that that person a slept with that the person a has little bits of five different people in her already because she already ha, she already had this exchange with five different men so she has little bits of five different men already in her and then she comes to sleep with him then that will be she exchanging with him those little bits of those five different people with hers that's six people you would think you're sleeping with one person but in real sense you're sleeping with six or you're ex you, you would think you're sleeping with one person and exchanging body fluid and the soul the spiritual aspect i'm talking about the whole process that goes and whatever you exchange you think whatever you're exchanging is just for one person but in real sense whatever you're exchanging with this person is from the five other people that this lady had slept with so it's it's not just something that is casual that we just have to overlook i've heard and i've read articles saying that when you have um multiple partners sometimes it brings bad luck it takes away your success because when people have negative energy energy is important in this life we are all energy i know a lot of people don't believe in that we are energy i believe in the universe i believe in god we are energy what you give out is what you get so if you bring that negative energy into your space it's going to take over and when you have negativity in your space good luck good luck success is being thrown out of the window you have to be conscious you have to have that strong will power to make things happen for you to change that negative energy around you that's if you are aware of what has happened so you have to protect yourself pr protect your space jumping around being with one person and you jump to the next person you, you don't know you don't know exactly what you're changing when it comes to the spiritual um, aspect of it it's more than physical it's deeper than you can even imagine for me i'm against womanizing and i don't know why this man did what he did he also listed names of the people so far he said they were supposed to be 300 or so far i've seen 70 names he listed their names and their soul names and in that video he made he's in malta so i don't know why he's doing this according to him to appreciate them but for me this is bullying if you ask me this is embarrassing this is um 
not needed he needs to be sued and stopped because this does not make sense this is someone's privacy you're putting out there how then how does he expect these ladies these ladies to to um to handle this because it's, it's been out there everyone has seen it this particular lady is married to a pastor according to him he told us a story right now she's married to a pastor for me this is beyond childish this is stupid someone needs to stop him something needs to be done about it because it doesn't make sense and this tells you that you have to be careful with people some people are psychopaths some people are crazy upstairs there because tell me how can someone go around taking pictures of people he has had something to do with and he's taking these pictures and saving them up you're only sure of yourself 100 percent i always say this to people you're only sure of yourself 100 percent you can vouch for yourself alone because you don't know the reason why people are doing some certain things to you maybe okay we're here to have fun but you don't know why the person is there to have that fun with you you don't know the person's ulterior the person's ulterior motive so you have to be careful and be smart don't trust people 100 percent do not trust anyone 100 percent the only person i trust 100 percent is god just be careful just be careful anyways guys this is a very sad story if you ask me because this doesn't make sense these ladies he's um showing their faces everywhere their faces are all over the internet these ladies can get depressed you can see this and decide to take a life because this is very this is embarrassing this is just announcing to the world oh this young lady slept with this old man there are a lot of young girls in the picture a lot of young girls I feel like maybe he thinks oh maybe he helped them so they don't have a say they can't do anything to him he has the money to travel he has the money so he can do whatever because this is not called for he needs to be sued for this rubbish he just did let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye